Hey everyone, welcome back to Silver and Forest for the next episode in our Let's Play series. So we're just popping over to our spinnery to pick up our first pallet of fabric that's being produced. And then we'll take this over to the boatyard which is now at the stage where it requires fabric for the next process. So we'll get this loaded up. So there's our first 1000 litres of fabric produced from our spinnery and from the wool from our sheep. The roller coaster is almost on the next stage so sometime today we'll be able to see what's required for the next step for that once it ticks over. But we'll deliver this first and then we're going to actually buy the boatyard. No, I think we'll leave the boatyard, we won't buy it today because the first boat won't be able to finish anyway until we deliver the rest of the fabric so we may as well wait So it currently requires 3,600 litres of fabric. Uh, floor tiles, it's got plenty of, and wood beam, it's also got plenty of those as well. So it's got everything apart from the rest of the fabric. So here is our boat. Well, it's not our boat yet, we don't <laughs> we technically own it. And we don't own the boat yard. So it's progressing rather nicely. So you see the mast is up now. So that continued working away. Uh, we can't deliver the rest of the fabric yet, but hopefully by the time it does require the next 1,000 litres, we should have produced it from the spinnery. So what we'll do, while we've got this trailer on and we're down this end of the map, we'll go and load up some of the pallets we've got from the various productions. So we've got loads of barrels, buckets, uh, we've got tables, chairs, pepper grinders, bowls, we've got literally <laughs> everything you can think of we've got currently being produced so we've got a lot to load up and sell so we'll do the barrels and buckets first so we'll get that stopped and get that loaded up this may fill the trailer so I don't know if we'll fit anything else on so we get these few pallets I think that's this trailer full. So I don't know where the best price currently is for these, probably on Creek. Let me just check. So we've got barrels and buckets. So best price for barrels is Elm Creek, 2,200, and buckets is Elm Creek as well, 2,500. So it may be worth leasing the train or renting the train and loading these up along with all the other stuff we've got. So yeah, I'm probably going to do that. I'll go and rent the train. I'll get this lot loaded onto the, the train and then see what space is left. And then we'll see if we can get some of the other stuff loaded up as well. Alright, so we've got a load of the bowls, pepper grinders, staircase railings, there's a few more buckets, another set of barrels on there as well and also the tables and chairs. There's still a few tables and chairs left at the furniture factory we can go and get and then there's also the floor tiles which are just over here. So I've already loaded the first lot onto the train as you can see and the best way I've found at this platform is to come across this way and load it from this side because you can't really get onto the platform. Well, it is technically a passenger platform for all the... We've never seen the passenger trains come past. So if we stop that there... Just take the straps off, jump into the train. And then we can do shift R. So there's another load on. Oh, turn that off. <laughs> I don't want to drive the train yet. So I'll get the rest of the tables and chairs. We'll also do the flooring tiles while we're here. Get these loaded up. I do do really like this map, and especially with the details when you go through the seasons. Like you've got the leaves on the sidewalk and in the guttering on the, the path as well. Uh, it is nice. It does make it feel like you are progressing through the seasons a lot more than it does on some of the other maps 
So it's nice little details that you kind of overlook and uh, really do add to the map. So that's 16,000 litres of flooring tiles. So I so said, I'll go and get the rest of the... Oh, no. There's another couple of pallets just spawned. I will leave, we'll leave those two. Because we may need some more for the roller coaster in a bit. So yeah, I'll get the rest of the furniture. And then I think that's everything that we've got down this end of the map. The cell will have been loaded up onto the train. Okay, so we've got the last of the furniture on. So a couple of pallets of armoires, uh, another pallet of tables, and then quite a few more pallets of chairs. So we'll get these loaded onto the train. I think that's where we'll leave the train. I don't think it's worth getting anything else. We sold most of the metal last time, and the paper mill's not produced a huge amount just yet. Hopefully we're close enough there to get the rest of that. I don't know if we'll fit the armoires on. I don't know if it actually auto loads those. Maybe we're a little bit too far away. There we go. So that's taken everything. I'll just double check those are strapped down. And then we'll go and get this sold. So we'll go this way for a change because we always go backwards from the other train sell point. Yeah, so one of the things we'll spend the money on is getting a new tipper trailer for the semi-truck so we can then start loading up the wood chips. Uh, get the stones as well out the way. Uh, wood chips are over a thousand pound per thousand litres so now will be a good time to sell those. So I'll probably also get a conveyor to take up to the old sawmill for those. Just slow down. Did I lose a pallet then or was that... Nope, I, th I, don't, I think we're okay. <laughs> right, there we go. So 262,000 and then a further 14,163 takes up to 562,440. So not a bad start to the morning. So I'm going to run back along the tracks just to make sure I haven't left any pallets lying around. Okay, so there was one pallet of chairs that had fallen off. I took those to the roller coaster and sold them. So we're up to 265. Two, three, two. So we'll just stop that off there and we'll go and see Eddie. See what he's got in the sales. So I haven't actually checked the used equipment sales today. So nice planter. Nothing we really need. Yeah, nothing in there that we really need. A pickup truck would be something I'd like to get, but I don't really want to get the 2020. I'd rather get a different one. So we'll go trailers and we're going to get the TLX. So the TLX X52 tipper, we will put the extension on to take it up to 108,000 litres. Uh, extras, I don't think we need those. We will go both lights. Attachers, I will put the rear hitch on this. I won't put a cover on, I'm just going to leave it black as well. So we'll purchase that, so that's 94,750. And what I also want to get is under belts belt systems. We'll get one of the auto load quantum ones and I'm going to keep that standard. Yeah, we don't need the increased speed on it. So that's 38,000. I'm going to buy that one as well. So what we need to do now is get these over to the old sawmill. Okay, so let's get these wood chips loaded up. I've got that thing where the, the train has stopped there again for some random reason. I have no idea why. I'll get this extended out. I have no idea how much is in this pile because there's no way of telling until we get it all out. So I don't know if we'll have a full trailer load. I doubt it. 
Uh, but we're already up to 30,000 litres, so you never know. A 50. And we're probably close to 70,000. 85. Oh, there's 70 gone. Oh, but maybe, maybe we do just about have a full load. It's going to be close. Oh, there we go, 108,500 with a bit left. So, just over 100,000 litres of wood chips from our sawmill. Uh, that's since we've purchased it, so that's all that's been produced in that time, because we haven't uh, taken any out previously. So this is the first time we've taken any wood chips out. So yeah, I think the best price currently is down at the hotel so we'll, we'll just double check so wood chips uh actually yeah it's still the hotel 1178 so we'll take it to the hotel i'm going to tag that i know roughly where it is but i'm not sure exactly where the sell point is so we'll head down to the hotel get this sold that'll give us another hundred thousand and that'll paid for the trailer Barriers are still going off. The train's stuck there for some reason. So we'll have to nip round. Okay, so just come up to the hotel. I'm not sure what they want 108,000 litres of wood chips for. Maybe they've got a biomass heating system. Who knows? If they're, if they're willing to pay for it, then I'll happily sell it to them. Let's get rid of that. And watch our money rocket up. So we're back well over a half a million. Uh, 560,402, so 127,964 for the wood chips. Uh, that's not bad. So if we get that amount once every year, so give it another 12 months, we can get another 100,000 litres of wood chips to sell. That won't be bad every 12 months. So yeah, we'll head over to the new area of land we purchased last time. Uh, actually, what we'll do first, we'll quickly swing by the roller coaster because that's very, very close now to going over to the next stage. So we can see what's required for that. Uh, just make sure it's got everything it needs for the next step. Um, if it doesn't, then we can look see what we do need to get down there. All right, so let's just have a quick check on the roller coaster. So it's uh, 85 planks. It's still got a process. So if I speed up time a little bit, how long is that going to take? That's fairly quick. I just want to see what's required for the next step. And just make sure we've have, we've got everything so it's not going to sit there not doing anything. So 20 left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 1. There we go. Slow time back down. So, wow, it requires a lot for this stage. Wood beam, planks, planks long, metal, floor tiles, prefab walls, staircase railings, chair, table, shingle, barrel and buckets. Um, I can't see everything that's in storage because it's not showing everything that's in there which is a little bit frustrating so we can only presume it's got those things so planks so short planks it requires 573 you've got 12,000 so that's fine wood beams fine planks long is fine staircase railings it's got more than enough chairs i i've delivered more than 406 liters of chairs and tables so i presume they're okay shingles we haven't delivered any yet uh, barrels we've delivered and buckets so if we go and grab the shingles and get those delivered we've got three pallets of shingles currently at the shingle factory so we'll get those delivered because it does require those for this stage so at the moment it's not doing anything so i'll swap the trailers back over and we'll get the shingles loaded up 
Right, so we have four full pallets of shingles from the shingle factory. So we can drop these off at the roller coaster and that's everything it requires for the stage it's now on. Uh, give us a little bit of extra money as well, so just under 10,000 for those four pallets. So that should now start working away. Yeah, they're all starting to go down now. So we can leave that running. Uh, so we can carry on now with getting some trees cleared on our new land. Try and get this new track in as well so we can get access up there with the semi. So we can load logs up in that flat area or flattish area. Okay, one thing I completely forgot was the the oats we've got in our silo. We don't have a huge amount, but they're they're at their best price now. So we'll load up the I think it's around about 12,000 liters of oats we've got, and we'll take those to sell as well. So yeah, 12,345. We don't have any other use for the oats, so we can sell these. Uh, the barley we'll keep for the chickens. We do have way more than we need, so we we could potentially sell some of that but we're not desperate for money so I think we'll just keep hold of what we've got and then maybe next year once we've got some more uh, we can look to sell any excess so silver on market is the only place we can sell out so we'll take it there and our silage bales are almost done fermenting as well so I may get the John Deere over here with the bale spike on and then we can start selling those and get them out of the way because we are in the the month with the best price currently for silage as well. So I say this is not going to be a lot, it's going to be about 13,000 for the oats, but it's a little bit of extra. So 13,665. So we'll just check these again. Yeah, they're currently 97%, so by the time I've got over there got the John Deere come back here with the bell spike they should be ready to sell and then we can start getting those sold as well. well I did have to speed up time a little bit but the bales are all ready now so we can get these out the way while the price is at a high point and that's the silage all sorted so we should earn around about 60,000 in total from all of these so 3,770 for two bales. Now it looks like some of them still haven't fully fermented yet. And there might be the odd one. Yeah, some, some are still not. I just wondered then why we got sold three and only one of them sold for a lot less. So yeah, just speed up time a little bit more. Just to that one there we go, silage. Just have to make sure when we pick them up they are all silage. So we're not wasting any money. I must have missed that odd one. I did quickly check to make sure they're all done. But obviously still that... That odd bale in there that hadn't quite fermented yet. So they're both silage. Yeah, so we'll get the rest of these sold. Well, that should take us up well above 600,000. Last three bales to sell should take us up to about 647,000. 646,698 we finished with after that. So, yeah, it's around about 60 odd thousand. I think we were on about 580 when we started selling those. 
So we're up to 646,000 anyway, which is a lot of money. Now there is still some leased equipment we could pay off. I'm still in two minds about whether to buy the Vela Buncher. Uh, we'll give it another go and see how we're going with it, but I just don't know how useful it's actually going to be for us. Okay, so we're back up to our new area of land that we started clearing last time. So I said what we want to try and do is get a track in. So we'll probably have to come to the left of this stump here, uh, just around the edge of the water. And then meet up with this track down here. So you might need to get rid of these rocks out the way and these trees as well. That way then we can get the semi up here nice and easy. And then use this area up here to load all the logs that we can cut from around this area. So we do own quite a bit of the land going up this way as well. So just over this stream we've got all these trees. Let's just check see exactly where we do own up to. Uh, so we own up to that track there but it does split across that way. So there's a lot of trees up here we can clear out all the way up to this track down here. And then we do have enough money as well, we could buy the next area of land, which is somewhere around here. And then we can start clearing those as well. So there's plenty of trees here to keep us going for a while. So I don't think we need to worry about uh, buying any more new land just yet. So yeah, first thing I wanna do is try and get that track put in so we can access this area a bit easier. So what we'll do is we'll use the fella buncher again, we'll give that another go. I say it's useful to a degree, but because it can't do all trees, it is a little bit limited. I don't know if we could add a weight on the back because there's not a proper hitch on this one. I don't know if any of the weights would fit on the back of this to increase the weight, which may help a little bit, but Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get that one because I think that's a fully grown. Yeah, that one's too big for this anyway. So I'll get these smaller ones out of the way. And we can get this area cleared so we can get this track sorted out. Okay, so I've cleared some of the trees to make a fairly decent path down. So what we'll do, we'll quickly go into landscape mode and then actually paint the terrain in so we can see where we're going. So we go landscaping, painting, we'll just use the animal mud. Uh, I'm hoping giants update this map and add a dirt texture. <laughs> Still seems really weird that there's no dirt texture in build mode. Alright, so if we go around about... We've got one bigger. Oh, that's a little bit too big. Oh, we can always touch it up after. So I want to bring it in between those two logs. And then we want to come off kind of this direction and then round between those two trees and then we should be able to connect up with the track here and then we can bring it that way as well so that should be a fairly nice way to get in to this area with the semi so we'll bring it round that log there and then straight down into this area so there is that stump there which we can't get rid of which is a little bit annoying as well. But what I'll probably do once I've cleared a bit more of this, we'll probably have this loop around and have a track so there's like a turning circle here so we can turn around, load up and then drive back out the way we come in. So that's kind of the rough track put in. So what I want to do now is get some of these logs we've got cut down or some of these trees dragged over to the processing area and then we can get these processed so I've got quite a few here there is a few more trees we'll need to get rid of as well just down the side of this track so we'll probably take out this one and then this one over here as well and then any of the other trees we'll just take out the largest trees so there's that one uh, two really tall trees there, maybe some of the short ones, but we'll leave any of the smaller ones now. So what I want to do is actually get the winch and we'll connect to that one. 
that one that one and then if we can get it nope can we get this one yeah so we'll take these four over and we can get these processed drop those there because then pretty much next to the other ones we've got and we'll just park this up over here turn the engine off on that I'm, I'm really tempted to just get rid of this uh, return it because it struggles so much with even the medium sized trees uh, with tipping over I just don't think we'll get a whole lot of use out of it so we'll get that onto the horizontal mode and switched on and we'll get these ones processed. Just take out a couple more trees just from the edge here drag those up so we want to try and get a full trailer load to take over to the old sawmill so we can get that topped up so we'll probably take that one and then maybe one more i do need to try and get these end bits all sorted out <laughs> they are just getting everywhere i so say once we've got this area completely cleared then we can get the track put in i so say then we can have a bit in the middle where we can process the logs and try and get them more stacked up in the middle and then have a nice area for loading the trailer and then what we'll probably do with the rest of the land is we'll do a combination of probably set the yard up for some of them so we can get the yard set up to bring some of the logs over to this area to load up and also in the combination of using the skidder then to bring stuff over and processed over here as well so we'll just get rid of that end piece. So we'll need to get some of these smaller trees and shrubs out of the way. Uh, but I think for the first thing what we need to do is just really get everything cleared out of the way. So we've got a nice clear area to work with. Uh, the deadwood trees, I still don't know what to do with these. Uh, the easiest thing to do is just delete them with uh, easy dev controls. And just get them out of the way because they're not really worth taking wood chipping or doing anything with so we do have quite a big stack of dead wood trees uh, so I, I may just delete those just to get me, get them out of the way so i'm going to get in this skidder and what i'm going to do is get these piles neatened up a little bit so they're a bit easier to load and then we 
should have enough there for a trailer load that we can get over to the old sawmill then and get that topped up. Alright, last few logs to put onto our trailer and then I think that'll do it for this load. So we'll get this over to the old sawmill to top that up, which should then keep us going for the next month or so. So we'll probably come back next time in February. We may skip through January because I don't think there's going to be a huge amount for us to do. See if we can get all that in one. Yep. It's a nice big bundle of logs. <laughs> that definitely would have taken quite a while with the front loader. Now we might not be able to fit all this on in one bunk. We may have to try and release a little bit into one and then let the rest of it into the second bunk or the, the last one. So see if we can just try and get a few out. See if we can close that again. Nope, that's a little bit more than I wanted out, but they all stayed on there. So we'll put these in the front or back. It doesn't really matter. We'll go with the back one. And so that should be a nice load of wood then for the old sawmill. Uh, there is some more trees just over there that we could process as well, but I think we've got enough on on this trailer. So we can just drop that off. So I deleted all the dead wood trees. I just got those rid of those. Because it's not really worth messing around with them. So this area is pretty much clear now. Apart from these. Uh, which we can get processed next time. So yeah. It definitely looks like there's more than enough on here. So we'll get those strapped down. And we'll get these over to the old sawmill. Uh, yeah, there's a few smaller trees there as well. Which I'll probably just wood chip next time. So that is one of the things I do want to try and get done next time is get a wood chipper. So then we can start processing these smaller offcuts, just throw them straight into a wood chipper as we go and uh, keep the area a bit tidier. And then there's still a few trees down here as well that we've cut down that we can drag over then and get those processed. So we need to get to the old sawmill, which I'm not sure which is the best way from here. So we are currently just come up to this track so i think if we do a right there and then down that way i think will be our best bet which might be a bit of a tricky turn there now uh, the other option is do a left round that way and then you know that that way is a lot more <laughs> well we'll get we'll we'll try going to the right and see how we get on so yeah, that's our new track that brings us out here, which isn't too bad. A bit of a steep turn there coming this way. So we do need to be careful we don't tip the trailer over. But yeah, we'll get these down to the old sawmill. And uh, we can get these into the storage there and top up that. Well, we made it okay, it wasn't too bad a uh, trip. So we can get this backed into the pond and then the logs can start being taken into the sawmill. So that should then give us enough wood to keep it going through the rest of December, uh, January and then into February. So we'll just double check because I'm sure it's got around about 40,000 litres. Uh, 27, so it's quite a little bit lower than I, I thought it was. So yeah, that should keep it going then. And everything else is currently blue. So we probably will need to check on these next time as well. Uh, metal's fine. That's fine. Planks long. I may um, switch this back to auto distribute for the long planks from here now 
and get them sent straight to our production buildings that require it. Uh, wood turn is okay. So yeah, they all seem fine. I think it's just the shingle factory that could do top enough. And the uh, flooring factory is fine as well. Yeah, so we can get those sorted out for next time. I just want to check as well. So uh, poplars is March is the earliest we can plant those. Uh, so don't really have much we can do. So yeah, I may skip through January. And then we can come back in February. We'll probably need to top up the old sawmill again and then sort out the other productions and we continue we can continue clearing the uh, new area of land, getting some more trees processed and sold. So yeah, I think we'll leave it there. We've got three uh, 644 fares. And what I am going to do before we do finish is the skidder that we've got on lease. So it's just leased equipment. So the fella buncher, I'm still not sure whether to keep that or not. So I'm just going to keep it on lease. But this one... I do think is very useful for us, so I am actually going to buy this one off as while we've got the money. That's 285,024 to purchase that. And then the other thing we've got is the yarder, which is 82,333, because we're not using that very often at the moment. We're not building up loads of errors on it. I'm going to leave that for a little bit. And also the planter. I mean, we have got 359,000. We've bought all the productions we need, so the only other productions are just for the sake of getting the productions. So I don't know, yeah, let's let's buy this. Fifty-eight thousand five hundred. And we'll purchase this as well. And then at least we own it. So we're down to two hundred and eighteen thousand nine hundred and eighty six, which is still a lot of money. I mean we've still got a lot of products to sell. So there's a lot more wood planks, long planks here, uh, prefabs, a lot more short planks. So yeah, we we don't need to worry about money at all on this map. It is rather easy to make money, so... Yeah, we'll leave it there for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing. We've got more Farm Simulator 22 content coming up with this series. Uh, time lapse series and also the live streams as well once a week so yeah a big thank you again for watching i'll see you all in the next one goodbye